<laughs> Welcome to part number 12 of the Mega Man Zero 3 Hard S Rank Challenge. We're in snowy plains now, and I really like the music to this stage, just saying. Although it doesn't matter. And I also like how you get to ride these hoverboards throughout the stage. This stage wasn't too bad. It took a certain amount of planning to figure out where all the enemies were and such, but overall, the stage wasn't too bad. And part of that is because the boss is incredibly easy, one of the easiest bosses in the entire game, at least in my opinion anyway. So whenever you can, hop on these hoverboards and just watch out for the enemies in front of you. Uh, the hoverboard itself will actually kill quite a few enemies, so that helps out a whole lot. It also moves pretty quickly, so it saves you a good amount of time. Uh, here's our mini boss for the level. It's similar to the one we saw in Twilight Desert, except this one is uh, ice. This one is a whole lot easier though. It only has two attacks. When it appears on the right side, it will shoot out a bunch of snowflakes, which are very easy to kill. Or, yeah, very easy to kill. When it appears on the left side, it will shoot out a few snowballs. Now, if you're continuously hitting the boss, you might just uh, hit the snowballs right as they come out, and then you will just kill them and they won't have a chance to hurt you. Overall, it's a very easy mini boss. You shouldn't have too much trouble with it. You may take a hit, but you shouldn't take multiple hits. And if you do, you might as well restart. The second half of the level is filled with these green hornet enemies, as well as these... Uh, I don't know what these enemies are. The ones that spawn a bunch of purple flying enemies? These ones, and uh... They're not too bad. Don't worry about them. Just remember where all of the hornets are, and you should be okay. You shouldn't have any problem with enemies in this stage. There are plenty of them, so you should get the full amount of points for enemies. And also, the time limit isn't too strict. I think they designed it, keeping in mind that you would be going on foot the entire time, but if you ride the snowboard, or not the snowboard, the hoverboard, you should be okay. Now this boss, it is incredibly easy, and the reason for that is it's so slow. It's very slow, it's a huge target, and half of its attacks can't reach you when you stand far away from it. And then it does things like this, where it just walks across the level, or the, the room, and that just, it makes the boss very easy. And its health bar, it's the same as every, uh, every other boss, only two, so it goes down quickly. You shouldn't have any problems with this boss. You shouldn't have too much trouble getting a 100 on this stage. However, I do not. I get a 99, which is okay. I don't mind taking a 99. A 99 is good. And, um, yeah, next up we are going to the Sunken Library. And that's a pretty interesting stage, so I'll see you in part number 13.